Yeah. Guess I'm not known the person giving out food. All right, ducks. All right, here you go. Finna toss the food. All right, I hope you enjoy your food. Oh yeah, I got more. Uh, I got got a brick of this food. Uh, it's a McNugget. I don't know if the duckies like McNuggets. Hope they love me after this one. Here. All right, throw some in the water. Somebody's gonna eat them. All right. Since duck history, Mac Johnson finally feeds the ducks. He feeds the ducks to McDonald's. A little girl was throwing on the floor in the bus. There you go, there you go. My hands are greasy like crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, topic of the message. Oh, it's amazing how correct the word of God is based upon the performance of people that, you know, uh, Jesus and Paul and Peter, a whole lot of people, even even the, uh, pretty much the prophets of Israel, they, they got it right too. I mean, concerning uh the condition of how the church will be you know is just too correct of what how bad it, it it is really how bad it is um wow uh that we are not that a simple idea just like i taught this morning simple idea of just coming together gathering together and be about this being together you know it's difficult this is difficult for christians to come together you know what i'm saying you know so if it's difficult for christians to make do something and create events that they can come together and work together for a community do they love god because mm, uh, i love how the word of god speaks for itself because the scripture says all things work together for those who love God. I mean, I think the church needs to question their love of God. Don't you think? I mean, they do things as individuals so much concerning buildings and not enough body and events to get every by as much as everybody together for the sake of unity amongst Christians. But guess what God remind me of? Thank you, God, for reminding me of what I did long time ago. When I was uh when I was uh meditating on uh H Trinity, you know, the three H's is nation, but I had H Trinity first, you know, cause H Trinity Nation. 3H Nation is a slang term concerning H Trinity, pretty much. Um, but H Trinity, I was gonna do this project that that I always that always irritated me, being a Christian, and you know, uh, uh, of of that Christians don't know each other. You know, uh, I mean, I don't even know, uh, don't know other Christians. They they we will be in restaurants, we will be in public of places, public arenas. And won't even know each other. That we don't know if the person was a Christian that came behind us. Well, I remember one time when I was a, uh, you know, uh, walking around the river walk, and God spoke to me and said, "Mac, did you know that uh, the people, the uh, couple of people that you walk past, go to church, and are considered Christians that walk by you?" And I shook my head like, "Wow, really?" It's like, "Yeah." And that's all he really need to say to me, because the thing is, we need to really be about uh, be about understanding that I am a Christian, you are a Christian. You know what I'm saying? We as a church, as a body, need to understand that we are, that Christians are among us, pretty much. And I thought about this project when I was. 
one of my projects that I wanted to work on concerning H Trinity Nation is uh, an, an I am Christian uh, project. You know what I'm saying? It's called, yeah, I am, Christ, I am a Christian project. This project that I want to work on is that Christian Christians will wear name tags. Yes, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy if a Christian wearing a name tag? You know, because I, you know, I used to uh, listen to Joyce Myers, and you know, uh, well, I went on a daily, and she used to say, "Oh, you know, Jay, because you got a, you know, name tag Christians, you know." The name she always talk about, the name tag Christians. I used to chuckle at when she says the name tag Christians. And I thought about that, you know. And I was like, you know, and, and you know, she's right of what she's saying. Just because you wear a name tag doesn't mean you perform like a Christian. And I understand that, you know, what, where she was going. But I meditate on it a little bit. And I said, wait a minute. Because here's the thing. I, I will, and, that, and and I thought about it from the standpoint that Christians don't know if Christians are around them, you know what I'm saying? And we as a body, if we're supposed to be a body of Christ, should know pretty much who's on our team, you know what I'm saying? Um, kind of ideal aspect that, you know, Jesus showed me, you know, uh, that we need to know, Real, I mean, I want to do this name tag, I am a Christian name tag thing. On the basis, I want to know who's on my team. I want to know who I'm praying for. I want to know who I should be encouraging. I want to know who should I, you know, be uh, lifting up the name of Jesus. I want to know the person, you know, I can run to to get prayer for if I'm going through situations. And that person should know the person that she can run to that she when she's going or he or she going through situations, you know. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted. The reason why I wanted to do this I am Christian thing. Uh, I am a Christian. If Christians put on a name tag. I am a Christian. And 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 we put on a name tag. And, and you know, of course, of course, the negative viewpoint of that is, uh oh, if they're performing, if they're smoking, if they're drinking, if they're sinning and all that kind of stuff, are you sure they're a Christian, you know? concerning a lot of perspective of a lot of Christians, I'm like, okay, if they are, we're going to pray for them. We're going to um, encourage them. We're going to uplift them, you know, and we're going to uh, do what Jesus did. I mean, because, I mean, I don't know if you know about the disciples. The disciples, as Peter, he just, you know, told Jesus, you know, when Jesus helped them get the fishes and five loaves of, I mean, it's fish and five loaves, uh, the catch the fishes in the net he said oh sinner i'm a sinful man you know in luke 5 he says he's a sinful man sinners follow jesus you know jesus got a tax collector you know what i'm saying a bad guy among you know sinners you know what i'm saying i mean yeah we're both helping each other and encouraging each other to uh, have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you know, this is what this is all about. We can hang out with our friends, uh, uh, the people with the name tags who say, I am Christian, and, you know, we encourage them and bless them in the name of the Lord if we see them in the public, you know, that's what we will do. That's what the whole ideal of the name tag is supposed to be about. It's like he's a Christian. You encourage him, you, you know, you you praying for them. You uplifting. You doing what Christians are supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You you you. Hey, let's go fellowship. Let's talk about the Word of God. Let's read the Bible together. Let's, you know, uh, tell our testimonies. Let's, you know, uh, do something together. You know what I'm saying? Let's do something together. And that's what the ideal of I am a Christian movement that I wanted to get started. You know that we get Christians to see each other and we will encourage and lift one another and, and everywhere we go because it's sad that we passing by people are supposed to be a body. I mean, what is supposed to be significant of an ideal of a body, you know? We are a body of Christ and uh, and if you or I, uh, ear could be walking right beside you, 
and you care less if your ear is walking right beside you, you need your ear to hear, you know what I'm saying? If an eye, you know, see a, 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 a neck walking by him, you know what I'm saying? That neck is important. Your body is important to you. You know what I'm saying? You try to take care of your body best way as possible. But when it comes to the body of Christ, it's like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that Christian over there, whatever. I don't know if that person that I walked by was a Christian, whatever. You know, that, you know what I'm saying? That has been going on, you know, from amongst Christians for a long time. That, you know, they don't care about the body. Really, that I've been trying to say, if they really sincerely care about the ideal of the Church of the Body of Christ, this would have been done a long time ago. You know, that I am Christian, you know? And we discuss and try to understand that we should love one another. How you doing, sir? Have a blessed day. Yeah, and we should be on the encouraging to and uplifting people, uh, those that, you know, are of Christ. We know that they are Christ. We can say praise the Lord, bless the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy when I go to Starbucks. And when I meet people and I let, I remember I ran into a girl one time that, you know, she was fellowshipping. I could tell she was fellowshipping the word, you know, with someone. And, you know, I said like, you know, you know, hello, praise the Lord. How y'all doing? And she looking like, hello, how you doing? You know, uh, you know, like strange, like, uh, who are you? You know what I'm saying? I'm a Christian you know and it's like that was really disturbing uh, not to her it's not her but it's the idea that we don't know how to identify each other you know what i'm saying that we don't know that we are on the same team we are on the same aim and goal as trying to get to heaven and be in the image and the likeness of god and you know learn the word of god do the word of god you know we are we don't have that camaraderie that me and jerry are, love to talk about that you know it's horrible that christians as christians we don't have camaraderie one amongst one another you know what i'm saying that is it should be a huge problem it should be a huge problem if we're truly sincerely being a church are you going okay a huge problem is somebody in there oh oh so okay all right it should be a huge problem, you know, in the church. I mean, I, it should be a huge problem that we're not even identifying each other and we can really genuinely help one another if we know who we are and if we can come together. Have a good day, sir. All right. We can come together and do things, you know, since we know Christians, do things for in our community, in our, our school, at our job. Uh, we can do something together, you know what I'm saying? You know, that we can truly be about the Romans 8, 28. All things work together, the love God. But if you love God and you cannot even identify your, your, your Christians around you, we got it. We should have it bad, you know what I'm saying? This should be a horrible, terrible problem that we can't be about identifying Christians and encouraging one another and uplifting one another. But I hope if I'm going. I'm going to plan on doing my I am a Christian thing, and a, 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 a sticker or something like that. And and I hope people treat it as the ideal of. Man, I'm here to encourage and pray for my brother. I'm here to do something, and don't treat it as oh look at him. He's doing this wrong thing. Go. Oh, I'm not. I don't know if I can. I hope that doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we just hope it get better. All right, man. Be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope it get right. Hope it get going. Because it needs to get going if we want to have an ideal identity uh, and help uh, one another. Because there's one thing we we can't. We're trying to love on the world, but we don't even know who our body of Christ really is. That's crazy. But that's the message. I hope you be about, you know, giving people an idea of an I Am Christian uh, sticker or something. Name, tag, sticker to really know who their Christians are so we can work together and do something better for those and be about really loving God because we know our body, we know who labor among us, we know who, who is on agenda for the gospel's sake and we can do things together to help better the community 
best way as possible. So that's the message, and I hope you get it, and I hope you be about it. Copy the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.